What's going on everyone? My name is Michael Enriquez. I'm a bus operator as well as a certified shop steward. And today we're going to put an end to one of the greatest cut slip debates and that's ramp versus traffic. Ramp versus traffic. We're going to cover when either should be checked off on your cut slip and also if there's any difference in pay. But before we dive in, if you haven't already, if you're watching us on YouTube, please take a second to subscribe to our channel, or if you're watching us on Facebook, please like and follow our page. So on the pull-in, whether ramp or traffic is marked on your cut slip actually depends on when you arrive to the depot. So if you arrived on time and there's a fuel line, ramp should be marked on your cut slip. Now if you arrive late, they will consider it to be traffic. Now, when it comes to pay, whether you have a straight run or a run with built-in overtime, whether they check off ramp or traffic, your pay will still be the same. The difference is if you have a boost. If I arrived on time and I sat on a ramp line, it's absolutely important that they check off ramp. Let's say I have a run with a 20 minute boost. If I sat on the ramp line for 30 minutes and the dispatcher marks that cut slip as traffic, I would only get paid 10 minutes because out of those 30 minutes, 20 minutes would be absorbed by the boost. Now, had that dispatcher marked that cut slip as ramp, I would have gotten paid 45 minutes, which is 30 minutes at time and a half, due to the pay practices revolving around the boost. So hopefully that puts the end to the ramp versus traffic debate. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you're watching this on Facebook, please like and follow our page. Until next time.